Hello everybody, it is Ebontis, and today we're going to be talking about Riven's Wish number 5 in Destiny 2. Today you've got two options. You're going to have the option to either kill, taken, bosses and mini-bosses. Now, if you look up in Dim, it says 0 of 60. It's not that many. I killed the one taken, basically, kind of taken boss in the public event. When we made it heroic, that big guy spawns after the Blight bosses, and he counted for 8%. So even if you did that, you have to kill 12.5 of those guys. So my advice and what most of you are probably going to end up doing is you are going to probably see a point where it says the enemy is moving against, the forces are moving against each other, something like that. I'll show you guys the picture on screen of what it looks like. When that happens, there's going to be enemies escalating in levels that get stronger and stronger, and your goal is just to com completely keep killing as many as you can to get to the boss to your level. Start with the red bars, then we'll go to orange bars for majors, and then everything with like giant capital letters and yellow looking bars, those are all going to count. So then at that point, if you can kill 12 of those, you're going to be done. So that's not that bad. Now, it takes a little while for you to wait around in the area for things to happen, whether it's a public event, whether forces move against each other. So you're just going to be hanging out. So this is it. Literally says the enemy is moving against each other. Could not have asked for this to be timed better. And you're going to start to see first red border enemies. We're going to see these guys come in. I'm going to use my bonk hammer because it's probably going to be pretty efficient. And I will just show you guys a full run of this one just to keep it going. So when the forces are moving against each other, you're just going to want to kill everything in whatever zone it's happening. And you usually see that the Scorn and the Taken are spawning near each other. It can be here. I've seen it down below. These are the main two, like, middle areas where I tend to see it. And you're just trying to kill everything that spawns. Scorn coming from one side, Taken coming from the other, and just keep working them down. Because the more you kill each, the quicker... I think it's... You know, killing the enemies is going to help you spawn the next one. Because if you leave these guys around, I don't know if it's going to escalate. Eventually, they'll probably kill each other. But I think you'll speed it along if you do this. Maybe it's just the timer and all my efforts are for naught. But less things trying to kill me still make this a little easier. So again, as you progress, you'll start to see these guys. Abomination might come in. This little onslaught auto rifle is pretty fun. And this guy's been waiting around for the same thing. Now, the other option is the saboteur, which is supposed to happen after this. I'm going to see if I can actually get it to proc. But for now, this is probably all you're going to want to wait for. Because waiting for the other one, so far, just going to be hit or miss. This is going to be more reliable. I've been waiting around here. I've seen this thing like three or four times with the enemies doing their things. They just keep coming. And depending on your loadout and stuff, you're going to be able to start killing them pretty quickly. When they escalate up to the majors... You'll notice it's going to get a little tougher, a little crazier, a little more chaotic. Now all you're doing is just trying to check. Come on. It must be a timer because we're killing everything. And again, you'll probably find somebody out there sooner you're doing this. If not, just bring a loadout that you think is effective. But yeah, Scorn are going to be on this side up here. When you're down below... It's going to be... Okay, we're now starting to see the majors. These are going to be your orange bars. Everything spawning at this point, they're going to start to be orange bars. Truly, like all of it. Now, you don't have to use bonk hammer. You can use whatever you want, but everything's going to start to be an orange bar. Everything's going to be a little, a little crazier at this point. More things definitely want to kill you out here now. Now, once the orange bars are hanging out for a while, we're going to get to the level of bosses. And again, remember, I said 12. So just make sure even if a group is around that you're trying to spread damage. So I would advise something like an auto rifle, a machine gun, just to help you kill or get damage on groups. Because it happens pretty quick now. Once you get to the, that next level and the forces start really moving, you're going to start cooking on the named guys. And as soon as you see one pop, you know you're in good shape. So those guys are still going to be hanging out there for a little bit. Trying to show you a full run. We gotta be getting close. Got to be getting a little bit close here. That's it. So Ravenous Taken Goblin. That will count for one of them. 
you'll see more of these guys start to show up as they work their way towards kind of like the fighting central area. Every one of these ravenous taken goblins will count. Ravenous taken scion. Anything with the big capital letters, kind of the orange bar that feels more yellow. Same thing there. The subvers subversive guy, he's gonna be around. He's one of the bosses I've seen a couple times. Even just this stupid little guy, which is trying to evade me. Just a corrupted stalker, he's gonna count too. All of these will count, so just try and keep damaging as many of these as you can. If you fire a big super or a rocket in an area, you're probably gonna be doing pretty well. Just really try and spread your damage. Big group killing supers are probably gonna be good. So this will get you probably there. Because if you touch 12 bosses for damage, you should get the trigger to make sure you get the kill count. And if you get enough of these while they're spawning in, you're probably going to be doing pretty good. And then when these run out... That dude's bugged. Dude, these things last for a long time. If you get a group in here trying to kill them with you, this dude's stuck. And then eventually they just stop. Now when they stop, if you're not done with your quests and nothing else happens, wait around for that to happen one more time and you're probably going to be good if you didn't get it the first time. But I would imagine in all of that, you're probably going to get the 12 you need. Now, that covers to get your bosses and mini bosses. Honestly, not that hard as long as you are reasonably lucky enough to wait around and see the forces move against for each other. Just try not to go AFK if you're hanging out. But that's kind of what you're going for. The other option is, as I said, Parak the Farseer. So you have to seek out a saboteur. And you're going to see that a saboteur spawns kind of in the bottom left corner where the text is. You're going to see that a saboteur will have spawned. At that point, you need to find the saboteur. And you need to pick up the charge, the like the orb that he drops. So you can either take it to here. You're going to see a little purple glowing area. Or you can actually take it down to... Probably better to get a more vertical view here. You can take it down to there, and you'll see a little purple glow over there. Now, the orb does mess with your mobility a little bit. So it's one of those things where you jump in the air and then kind of do an attack or a melee. You're going to get that, like, dash movement that you can do as you jump around with them. And that will probably be able to let you make that jump, probably from, like, there to there or the other side, too. Once that is charged... What you're going to do is take that orb once it is charged, whichever place you charge it, you need to head over here and you need to start a bit of a jumping puzzle. So what you'll do is you'll bring the, the orb all the way over to about down here and you're going to start jumping across or over here, jump to here, 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 and then work your way up all the way to this point over here. And when you get over there, what you're going to do is you're going to dunk your charged orb and then it's going to say a good deed was done. When that happens, you're going to see Parak the Farseer, however you say his name, which I'm sure I'm butchering it. He's going to spawn right here and he's got a shield. At that point, you're going to have major knights and major wizards that spawn around him, kind of in this circle. I saw the wizards kind of floating around and the knights. Now, he will be a taken ogre, so he's going to try and push you. So he gets really annoying. So these little walls of cover actually work very, very well to help you stay protected. And when you are fighting him, all you're trying to do is kill one of the majors, pick up the charge, throw it at him. He has a very big overshield, and with that overshield, he's just going to be really annoying until you take the overshield out. But kill a knight, kill a wizard, throw it at him. Kill a knight, kill a wizard, throw it at him. So just keep going in a circle. If you're not finding guys, there's probably one coming a little, you know, a little while later. Once the shield is down, like my Pyrogale Gauntlet Super, for example, put a massive chunk into his health. That, you know, fusion rifle, dragon's breath, just pumping some damage into him. He was down really fast. The, the overshield is annoying. His health bar, pretty normal and, and neutral. So that's what you're looking to do for Parak the Farseer. If I get an example, I'm going to clip that footage in here. But other than that, at this point, that's pretty much what you're going to do. And my advice, honestly, and probably the one you're more likely to see from all of my way to ground, you're likely to see just the forces moving against each other. Typically, it'll be like Taken coming from this side, Scorn from this side, they meet in this middle area. Or as you saw right up here, Scorn from back there in the two sides. 
and then taken from basically any side of this rock, and then they're just gonna butt heads against each other here. Kill as many of the majors and, or kill as many of the mini bosses and bosses, big capital letters is what you're looking for as you can, at least do damage to them, hopefully those count. Once you're done with either one of those, whether it's Parek or the bosses and mini bosses, you'll be done and you can get your wish token for your next one. Next week will be Prophecy. I will be working on a guide for that, so stay tuned for that one. But if you enjoyed this video, drop a like below. Leave a comment if you got questions, thoughts, opinions. Hopefully I covered everything for you as best as I could. If I don't get an example of Parek, that is the general idea. And if you see people out here doing it, especially earlier on in the week, you'll probably see more people. But that's still the idea. So if I hopefully can get footage, I'll throw it in here for you for Parak. But other than that, you can find me on Twitter, Twitch Bontis. If you're new here, hit that like, drop a comment below. Even if you just want to say hi, hit that subscribe button, hit the alert bell, and I'll see you soon.